Okay, now we're on um, 10 44, I guess we'll oh, do letter one, C. This is more fun and easier. Fun and easy? That sounds great. So it's got to. Oh, if you see what I mean. Is this the Pythagorean okay. theorem of 9, 12, 13? Is there such a thing? Um, 9 squared uh. plus 13 squared. It's 13. C equals 13. I don't think it can because the hypotenuse. Y equals 13. No, it doesn't. 9 squared plus 13 squared square. I mean, root of that is 13. You did root of 169. Sorry, root of 250. What? You've got such nice friends. 13 squared. You've got 5 root 10, which is about 15.8, approximately. Yeah. What? 15.8. That's letter C. <coughs> Okay, and then how do you guys want to go about finding X? X, that is inverse function, 9 over 13. Oh, yeah, you can just use a Sokotoa, yeah. Because he's got opposite and adjacent. So tangent of X equals uh, 9 over 13. You can inverse tangent both sides, and you'll have X equals inverse tangent of 9 thirteenths, and that's going to equal what he said. Yeah. Shift, you know, tangent, you the nine, <laughs> thirteen. Yeah, we got about thirty-four point seven ish. And then I don't know what units those were in. Those were in. Um, those were in feet, in I inches. guess. I mean, isn't it feet when it's just one little mark? I don't know. No, it's two, uh, I don't know, but X is supposed to be degrees. Oh, X, oh, whoa. <laughs> okay. Why not C? It's Y not C? Yeah, you put C. Oh, because it was uh, A squared plus B squared is C squared. That's why I wrote C. I wrote it up here, though. I wrote my Y. And so those should be in, well, what do I say? I'll just say feet. That says feet. And let's check in with the answer book to make sure we're not giving you fake answers. Okay, so they like it. And then did we do letter C? That was letter C. So 34.7 degrees it's and 15.8. Okay. Well, I didn't want to turn it off.